Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the third song off the Circus of Madness album. This one is called Devil's Face. This is a, one of the longer songs and we do a lot more uh, building uh, on this. So uh, let's jump into it. I start off with the uh, the snares off. I'm playing some uh, beat where I'm using a little bit of double bass. Like I said, I have the snare off uh, because the guitar is um, fairly clean at this, po this point. It's a really big open sound. I'm playing a beat that goes between the snare and tom two and tom three as part of the beat, not not fills, just part of the beat. We go through a few stances like that, and then we start to jump into what's going to be the verse. The verse is very different in feel. It's very syncopated. I jump over into to the hi hat at this point. Uh, snare is back on. You're almost deliberately playing a little rigid just because you want to really emphasize um, the syncopation. Also a little bit of kind of band unison going on. I'm using the hi-hat almost like a fill as part of that, uh, that unison. When we get into the refrain, I'm kind of repeating the theme from the, uh, the intro of the song. So I'm going around the toms much more now. I'm going across all the toms and there's a lot more double bass going on. So it's kind of like, you almost think of it as a uh, uh, a variation of the intro, or maybe rather think of the intro as a light version of the refrain. We go back and forth a couple of times like this. Uh, we get into the bridge. The bridge is a um, more restrained version of the, the chorus. George is doing some soloing. We come out of the solo with this big, almost Rush-esque uh, band unison film and then back into the refrain. But now the refrain, there's all sorts of fills going on. You know, everything's like so much bigger, hitting crashes, going crazy. And then we, we kind of just wrap everything up. And there's some cool effects and everything else going on in the, uh, the post-production that we did. So um, check it out.